Hi and welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to go ahead and look at using the different types of icons that your mouse or your cursor will present. More specifically, we'll look at how to modify cells by using dragging, dropping, and then the fill handle so that we can copy information in the same spreadsheet that we're currently working in. Then in the following videos, we'll go ahead and look at how to drag and drop from one worksheet to another worksheet and then use copy and paste functions to essentially create duplicates of the text. So let's get started. If you want to follow along, as is often the case, you can go ahead and go to the description of this video where you'll find a link to a Google Drive where you can download this file and work alongside us. So we're currently using exercise file 09.01. All right, so we've touched on this topic a little bit throughout the course, but we want to cover it formally. Now, as you move your cursor, you may notice that it can change, right? So currently we don't have Excel selected. Let's say that we have maybe our browser selected. And when our browser is selected, you might have this, um, this white arrow, right? That kind of is a traditional mouse icon. When you click over to Microsoft Excel, the most common, uh, the most common use, uh, most common icon you might see is this little white box this little white cross, and that's the traditional selection cursor. So that's what I'd use if you wanted, if I wanted to select one or multiple cells. Now, as we move this cursor above between multiple columns, it becomes this kind of black line with two arrows on each side. That's what we would use if we wanted to adjust the column width or split columns or readjust their size. If we wanted to select a column, it, it would turn to this little black arrow pointing down we click that and it selects the column or it would also appear when when and if we wanted to select a row. Okay, so those are the different selection icons. Now you will also have what's called a move icon. And if you select a cell or group of cells and then you move your icon to the edge of that cell, any of the edges, you'll have this icon, which kind of looks like a mouse, a white mouse and then four pointy arrows. So that's what we might call the traditional move cursor. Then, as we discussed earlier in the course, if you move it to, if you move your cursor to the bottom right portion of the of the cell, it will become what's a called a fill handle. And then, as we'll discuss later in the video, if you add the control key, it will be the plus fill handle or the plus uh, move cursor. So let's see what each of these individual icons do. So this is going to allow us to select text. What if we wanted to copy and move text? So let's say that we were to select some text and we wanted to move this, this range of text. It's technically not a table, but or it's not, an ex, it's not formatted as an Excel table, but if we wanted to move this range that of A1 to E5, we could come and we could put our cursor on any part of the edge. So in this case, let's just put it on the right edge. And then once that icon appears, we'd left click with our mouse and we drag it down. And this will move all of our selected cells. Essentially, it's cutting our text from where it was in a six to E five and now placing it here in a seven to a 11. Again, we could select our text and then bring our cursor or icon to any of the individual edges. And then once it's in this mode, we would left click with our cursor and bring it over. So let's try that again. Okay, so that essentially will allow us to drag and drop. Now, there are gonna be occasions where you actually wanna create a copy of the text. And if you wanna create a copy of the text, rather than bringing your cursor to the right and then left clicking, you're gonna add one intermediate step. So essentially, you're gonna bring your cursor to the right and then you're gonna press and hold the control key. And then you'll notice that your cursor changes from this kind of black arrow with, I guess, white arrow with four, with kind of a, an axis grid and X and Y plane with arrows on each side. Then you get this type of uh, icon, which is basically a white mouse with a little plus sign on the bottom. Then you could drag that down and it will create a copy. So you could do this on any, any edge of the uh, of the selection and then it would automatically create that copy. Now a second thing that you could do is you could uh, you could use the fill handle. So say that 
say that we wanted to extend this out from 2013 to maybe 2018, because it's in a series, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, we could bring out this uh, icon and we bring it to the bottom right portion of that corner and then we drag it out and it could extend to years. Now, if there was an actual pattern, um, an actual pattern, we could try dragging the fill handle out, but it's very likely that these, in, these numbers here would have to be replaced by whatever our data is. Lastly, because this was a merge cell, we would want to come here and go to merge and then, or unmerge and then merge, and we might have to adjust it that way. So kind of straightforward, but we wanted to cover the, the idea that your cursor will have different different functions depending on where it's placed in the Microsoft Excel program and in a specific cell. Then if you want to select some data, so say we wanted just to take this data here from 2016, we could do that by selecting the data and then dragging it down. And as we release our left mouse button, it would, uh, it would essentially cut it and put it there. So we could do that same with all cars and that would uh, cut that information also. Now, if we wanted to create a duplicate, so say we just wanted to duplicate this selection here, we could put our cursor near the edge and then press and hold the control key. While still holding the control key, we would drag it down and it would create a copy of that information. So with that, in the next video, we'll go ahead and look at adding the alt key. Adding the alt key will allow us to copy or cut information from one spreadsheet to another spreadsheet. So join us for that in the next video and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.